Okay, so let's take a look at all the parts to Cautious Man from Tunnel of Love. Be sure to stick around to the end of the video, because at the end of the video, I'll play through the whole song alongside a homemade backing track, and you'll see tab scroll across the screen. Okay, so this song's in the key of G major. Tempos are about 118 BPM. Let's take a look at the chords first. So we've got a G5 power chord. So pinky, third fret B, that pretty much stays there the whole song, okay? Uh, and then third finger, ring finger, third fret low E. Like that, so that's a G5 power chord. Then middle finger, second fret D, third finger, ring finger, third fret A. It's a C add nine chord, lush sounding chord there. Then just drop your middle finger to the G string. You've got a D5 power chord. Uh, then also add your first finger to the second fret of the low E. You've got a D over a sharp chord. Bruce likes to play it with his thumb, but it's pretty better to play it with your first finger. Um, cool. Uh, and then you've also got a middle finger, second fret A, middle four strings, and that's a G over B chord. What I'm also going to do now is put the song structure up on the screen, so that will help you to break down all the different sections. Any chords in brackets means there's more than one chord in that particular bar. Um, and any song structures will be in the description of YouTube videos. You better copy and paste it, put it into a Word file, and make sure you can learn the song kind of inside out. Okay, cool. So let's take a look at the intro in the first verse. So the intro is simply just one bar of this picking pattern with a G5, which is E, D, G, B, G, D, E, D. These are all eighth notes, one and two and three and four and. So down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So alternate picking there. So once you've done that intro one bar, kind of sings kind of part way, starts to sing part way through that. So you've got the first verse, which is the same bar, G5. Then if you're struggling with the alternate picking, this would be a great song to practice with. Uh, and then C add nine for two bars. So you're gonna go picking pattern, a, D, G, B, G, D, A, G. So two bars of that. Okay, and then you've got three bars of that G5 chord. Two, three. Okay, and then D5. Again, feel free to change up these picking patterns, uh, use these as a foundation, embellish them on them. So here, because the D5 is pretty much three strings, you could play the A as well. Uh, I've come up with this kind of pack, picking pattern that sounds similar to what's happening on the record. I'm gonna go to the D5, D, G, D, and then B, B twice, then G, D, and then G. Again, feel free to do something else. That, as long as you're keeping with the rhythm, that's all good. So D, G, D, B, B, G, D, G. And then the next bar is a split bar. So any chords in brackets in the song structure means there's more than one chord in that particular bar. So we start off with a D5. Uh, D, G, D, B, G, D. And then add your first finger to do the low E string and then the D string, that bar again. Of course, that's the first verse. So what we're going to do now is the second and the sixth verses, because uh, there's quite a lot of variations in the verses, but the second and the sixth are exactly the same. Okay, um, I've got some really lush um, sort of sort of synth as well, and some kind of pizzicato kind of strings. I've aimed to emulate on the backing track with that kind of style playing. Uh, it's just got a little bit of improvisation there. So. Second verse, which is also the same as a sixth, you use G5, two bars. C add nine, two bars. G5, two bars. I love this bit. Uh, the strings kind of change as well. G over B. So picking's the same. Pretty much, I mean, again, you can play around with that last note, whether it be the D or the G string, so I'm going A, D, G, B, G, D, A, D. You could hit the D or you could hit the G. It's not, this doesn't have to be exact every time. So it's G over B, then two bars of C at nine. It's quite soft as well, the guitar. His voice is really loud on the record. And the guitar's quite, you know, stripped back, not too, don't pick too hard. 
Uh, it sounds awesome. So that's the second verse and the sixth verses. Again, the third and the fifth verses are not exactly the same, but very similar, okay? So just the last two bars of the fifth verse are different to the uh, third verse. So third verse, C add nine, two bars. And G over B for two bars. And then G5 for three bars. D5, you have these two bars in the uh, first verse, at the end of the first verse. And the split bar. So that's the third verse. So the fifth verse is the same apart from the um, last two bars. So the fifth verse, start the same, C F9. Two bars. G over B. Oops. Two bars. G5 for three bars, same as before. So instead of those um, the bars that you had at the end of the third verse, you've now got just two bars of D over F sharp. Cool, so that's the third and the fifth verses. Now the only verse we haven't done is the fourth verse. So let's just quickly go through that before we do the other sections. So fourth verse, G5 for two bars. C at nine, two bars, and then G5, two bars, and a split bar, G5, I think I can just hear this slightly on the record, unless my ears, ears are deceiving me, G5, G over B, this is really nice, you do half a bar of each, G5, E, D, G, B, and then G over B, A, D, G, B, and then D5, we've had before twice. Of course, that's all the verses. And there's a lot of them are similar, but there might be some slight variations there, which I've gone through. So the choruses, good news there is they're all the same in terms of structure. So there's six of them, and they're all the same eight bar structure. Um, but the only difference is in the sixth chorus, it just slows down naturally to sort of to end the song, okay? So all the choruses, you've got two bars of G5. Two bars of C at nine. One bar of G5. One bar of, of D over F sharp, then two bars of G5. It's quite straightforward, those choruses. Cool, and then you've got the breaks. Um, so the first break, and the second break where there's no singing. Uh, just short little kind of sections there. So the first break, C add nine uh, for two bars. G over B for two bars. And then you got a split bar of C add nine. Down, up, down, up. A, D, B, G, and then D five, half a bar. Down, up, down, up. So that last bar again, C add nine, D five. So that's the five bars of the first break. And then you just got to finish off, we've got the second break. Uh, and that'll be pretty much all the parts. So C add nine, uh, second break um, before the sixth verse is two bars of C add nine. One bar of G over B. One bar of D over F sharp. Of course, that's all the parts. A fantastic song from uh, Time of Love. One of the best Bruce albums, in my opinion. Um, it's, it's an awesome song, an awesome album. Uh, any questions about anything or getting the files, the tabs? Don't forget you can get the tabs on the JS Music School store, I'm either in PDF format or Guitar Pro format, infant download. So go direct there in the Bruce store there, or you can use your Subscribestar codes if you're a Subscribestar. Any questions about any of that, let me know. Please like the video if you've enjoyed it. Any comments, suggestions, or any comments or suggestions, let me know in the comments section below. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon for notifications. Thanks as always everyone for watching and supporting the channel. See you next time. Cheers, bye.
you'd like to get guitar profiles, tab PDFs, backing tracks from any of these tutorials, head over to either the subscribe star page or my website, jsmusicschool.co.uk. Remember to subscribe and hit that bell icon for notifications. Thanks very much. See you on the next one.